Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thanks for tuning in and welcome. Right in front of you are some of the most beautiful coins out there. We have the Lunar Series 2, some older pandas, some newer pandas, the Rwanda Series, a new coin, and even the PF70 Ultra Cameo Moon Festival Panda. Now, I'm showing you guys these coins, these high premium semi numismatic coins, because these are the th this is my purchase over the last month and a half. I've done some unboxings. I got some of these coins today. I didn't want to unbox them. I actually have three more slab coins coming, all MS70. I have the 2012 MS70 Panda, the 2013 and the 2014 Smithsonian MS70 Panda with the COA. Now, why am I buying all this silver? There, there's a rhyme and a reason. There, there's definitely a strategy behind it. And there's really something really cool happened. And I'm going to share this with you because it's a surefire way to make a lot of money, actually. So first, you guys can see the Lunar Series. I never had this series before. One of the most beautiful, most collectible, most expensive series. If you didn't start stacking Back when these came out, you kind of missed the boat because buying a 2012 coin in 2020 is extremely expensive. If I would have bought this coin when it first came out in 2012, I would have paid a lot less money for it. But I didn't care because I know that this is the most, uh, the most, I guess, reputable, most respected, most collectible, most sought after series by far that looks the best as well. So I was willing I was willing to, to jump the gun and do that. So I have five 2012 dragons. I have five 2013 Year of the Snakes. I have a 2015 Ox, a 2016 Monkey, a 2017 Rooster, and the 2018 Dog. So that is my Lunar Series 2 collection so far. And this is what I wanted to talk about. On JM Bully, and I bought 10 ounces of silver. I bought five ounces of one ounce pandas and five ounces of 30 gram pandas. Now, you guys know 30 gram stopped in 2010, I believe, or 2015. Sorry, sorry. 2015 was the last time they made one ounce pandas. Then they switched to 30 gram. Now, on JM Bullion site, you can buy one ounce pandas or 30 gram and they have the random year. So I bought five of each. When I bought the one ounce random years for $33, they gave me a 2005 Panda and four 2010s. For $33, I paid I paid $33 for an $150 coin, $33 for these four 2010s, which are well over $33 as well. So I paid, you know, for for this listing, maybe around $150, easily $300 worth of pandas, $350. Which is crazy, uh, but it's it, that's what I did. I'm not lying. Like like this is these are the five one ounce pandas I bought out of the random year 2005 and four 2010s. Now for the 30 gram, I got um, two 2017, three 2017s, and two no two 27 three 2017s, and oh, I already had. <laughs> So there, I, I made two purchases earlier uh, when I started this. So in this last one, I got, uh, I think, all 2019s or maybe one, uh, twenty all 2019s and a 2020. Yeah, I got four 2019s and, four, uh, and a 2020. And um, this is one of the coins I picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago. Very, very, very nice coin. I think this coin, and see, I, I'm glad the camera can get this detail. Or at least get the shine so you can see the finish on it. When, when there's coins like that that have that matte finish, I swear those coins always do good. I, I swear they do. It, it's like they, they just they look so much fresher. They look they look very good. So um, this coin is, is already blowing up. It's a new coin that came out, the, the Quaka. Um, I, I have some high hopes for it. It's already around like 40-something, 50-something dollars. And I just, I, I have a pretty good eye now of being able to tell which coins will do good and which don't i mean this was one of my first purchases ever as a silver stacker eight years or whatever no, no it was 
2016, right when this came out, and I started stacking in 2013. So this is the first the first two years I like poured silver. So when I started getting into the coins, this was one of the first coin purchases I made in 2016. And um, it was scary because this coin was $100 from Modern Coin Mart. I saw a limited mintage of 5,000. Um, and even a smaller amount were PF70 Ultra Cameo. There's actually around 1,900 of the PF70 Ultra Cameo. The rest are gem proof. So I saw this coin. I saw as PF70 Ultra Cameo. You know, I saw it was a moon festival. The coin is absolutely beautiful. Came with the COA. And I did it. And this is by far, by far, one of the uh one of the rarest um one of the most highly potential pandas that i believe are out there especially for a one ounce and for a pf70 ultra cameo and pf stands for proof um, ultra cameo is, is just the finish on it and it's it's absolutely beautiful but i also wanted to show this because this is also uh one of the coins that i picked up and this is the Rwanda Lunar Series. And if you guys don't know, the first one that's from this was the 2017 Rooster. As soon as I saw that coin, which looks very similar to this, I knew this coin would do good simply from the finish on it. Uh, I really want to get my hands on a MS-70 uh, Rooster or, or even the pig or the dog that are out because um, those coins will do well. And... and that's to say with, with any of these coins, if you can get any of these MS-70 slabbed, especially the MS-70 slab for these 2005 panners are out four or $500, not even exaggerating, four or $500 if I had that slabbed and it was in perfect condition. These go for around 150 right now just in the, just, just as, as, as that, the raw coin. But yeah, I, I think that I hit the nail on the head with what I was trying to do with my stack. I have a lot of bullion, and when prices are high like this, these coins don't get affected. See, if I was to, let's see if I, so if I was to buy, if I was going to buy this American Eagle, right? If I was going to buy this coin, and let's say spot price rises from, from $25 to $30, the price of this would rise, especially nowadays with these premiums. If that price rises $5, these coins don't really get hit as much as the coins pegged to spot price. Because these coins have, have a more of a collector value price to them. Especially if you buy them from certain places and buy them in bulk. So, anytime spot price rises, especially right now, I usually buy silver like this. When spot price is low, I buy more bullion. I bought most of my bullion and silver $15.00. Now, I'm going to focus on this type of stuff. It, this is my favorite type of silver anyways. You guys know pandas are by far my favorite coins. And, and I'm going to keep buying the random year listings from JM Bullion. But you best know that I'm going to be buying the, the one ounce random years. Because if I got a 2005 and four 2010s and I, and I bought like 15, 20, 30 of these, I could make a killing, a killing. It is honestly baffling that they that they would give me these coins for thirty three dollars a pop when they're several hundred dollar coins. It, it's honestly it blows my mind. Like I don't understand the logic. I don't know how they're making money from that. Maybe they just don't want to take the time to list each one of these coins individually to to, to sell them. But I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take advantage of that all the way through. So, anyways. I hope that that uh, you guys can see, um, you know, the direction I'm taking. You have to try to balance your stack. You have to try to balance your stack. If you are someone that has a lot of this silver and not much bullion, you probably want to balance your stack out and get back to the basics. That means maybe buy some some tubes of American Eagles, buy some pandas, even some junk silver. Or not not pandas, but buy some, some maple leaves. Even some junk silver, maybe some some bars, and um, what that's gonna do is, is definitely help your stack. 
uh, be protected from spot price and also have balance and have uh, profit a profitable potential. Because let's say spot price does stay twenty five dollars for the next twenty years. If if spot price stays twenty five dollars for the next twenty years and twenty years from now, this coin will still be twenty dollars. I can guarantee even if spot price stays twenty dollars, stays the same price in twenty years from now, these coins will not be worth twenty dollars. Even if spot price stays the same in twenty years, these coins will have triple, quadrupled in value. So these coins will protect you from spot price because there's a collector value. The design changes every year. Very low mintage numbers, and and, and that drives collectors. So. Um, if you guys don't know, another limited mintage were these are my Silver Slayer bars, second edition. This is the second edition. A limited mintage of 200 were on these bad boys. You guys can see it's the Fire Flame. It says Silver Slayer, the Hexagon logo. This is the first edition. These were the original Silver Slayer bars. Um, you guys can see really cool stuff. These were a, a hundred minted at a hundred, um, sold out the first day. And then the second edition were minted at 200 and uh, sold out thing with a date within a day or two. You guys can still catch them floating around on eBay from people reselling them, but they're pretty expensive because there's only 100 to 200 made. So um, people try to up the ante, but cool stuff. If you guys never got a chance or didn't know my channel back then, maybe you guys can get your hands on one and you might be worth something. But anyways, I, I'm curious what you guys think about this. Do you think this was a, a, a cop or, or a drop? Do you guys think that this was... Uh, a waste of money. I should have bought American Eagle with this. Or do you think there's a lot of potential here? I, I definitely think I've set my stack up um, to be a lot more profitable now. And I'm going to stay in this direction, I think, buying coins like this. Unless spot price does something, there's going to be so much change happening right with the election. So who knows? Um, especially, I bought the 2012, 2013, and 2014 MS70 Panda. So I'll also have those coming within the next couple days. So I definitely think I'm setting myself up for a very, very, very profitable future. If spot price changes, who knows? I might buy some tubes of eagles. But regardless, this is my favorite type of silver. And if you buy what you like, you can never go wrong, people. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.